the moon now let us learn about the moon and the phases of the moon in detail in this module we can observe the gradual change in the shape of the moon every day the day on which the whole disk of the moon is visible is known as the full moon day thereafter every night the size of the bright part of the moon appears to become thinner and thinner on the 15th day the moon is not visible this day is known as the new moon day the next day only a small portion of the moon appears in the sky this is known as the crescent moon then again the moon grows larger every day on the 15th day once again we get a full view of the moon the various shapes of the bright part of the moon during a month are called phases of the moon as we all know the moon is not a self luminous body and it does not produce its own light unlike the sun and other stars do we see the moon because of the reflection of the sunlight falling on it towards the earth therefore we can see only that part of the moon from which the light of the sun is reflected towards the earth we all know that the moon revolves around the earth the earth along with the moon revolve around the sun the size of the illuminated part of the moon visible from the earth increases each day after the new moon day after the full moon day the part of the moon visible from the earth decreases in size every day the moon completes one rotation on its axis as it completes one revolution around the earth the time period between one full moon to the next full moon is slightly longer than 29 days astronauts landed on the moon found that the moon surface is dusty and barren moon has a large number of steep and high mountains the moon has no atmosphere it has no water so there is no life on the moon neil armstrong an american astronaut landed on the moon for the first time 